little blur in front of them. Ah, you're good. Don't worry about it. The next whistle. I just, I, I need to correct yep, that. Yep, okay. Does that fit the whistle? Come to you. We made a final choice for today's game day sponsor. We made an error in Bobic Roofing, not Bobic Construction. Thank you, Bobic Roofing, for your continuing support of your Kenora Colex. I feel better now. Broken down final name to number 10, Taylor Thompson. Two minutes for hooking at 18.25. follow Civic Center regulations. Purchased alcohol must be consumed in the designated area just to the left of the Cobra Snake Pit. Your cooperation is... Gateway Co-op. Wanda Heron Photography. 
Heber's Continuous Metal Roofing. Skate, dude. Down low, down low. Oh, right to the fucking stick. Oh. Come on, Matt. You know that. You don't do that. Come on, Troy. Down low, Cody. Oh, nice pass, Cody. Pass. Yikes. Fuck you guys.
person. Travis Longman with you. Can you guys hear me? Read, send me a message if you can. Across the blue line, Howie sends it in front. Regal puts it wide. We are.
I am using my old headset. I misplaced uh, the piece. I believe it is in Mooseman, which is very good. Yes, very good, Travis. Spinning around, Thompson. Down the ice it goes. Producer Mitch is working on a scoreboard. Thanks, Reed. I just got my headset charged, and I'll charge it during each intermission so we can hopefully have audio the rest of this game. Captain, nope. Goes out. Nixon Electric. Wendy's Place, St. Lazar Tire. Hope sends it down the ice onto the Kenora netminder back to get it. Plays in the far corner. Sends it in front. Hope has it at the point. Hope puts it on net. That goes wide. Behind the net, he holds on to it and he holds on for a whistle. Producer Mitch, thank you. Thank you, everyone, for just being patient with us. And uh, it is a two-man production. Most of the big corporations that you watch, like Hockey Night in Canada, there's at least five, seven, ten people making sure. And the people that don't get the credit are the likes of the master control operators. They're the ones. So it makes sure the commercials get paid. Play. Sends it down. Back the other way. Slashing Adam Rock. The newest member of the bloodline, The Rock. Different Rock, obviously. Uh, this, but The Rock is looking to lay the smack out on Friday night. Hope passes it off the boards. Gravy. Howie passes it over. Sends it across. Regal. Behind the net, takes a shot, puts it wide. They're just waiting to get excited here. Those, that horn you hear, that's Rokenville fans. Howie puts it on that kick to side. Big rebound. Got another. Well, great save by the corner. Universe Satellite Sale. Sun Dog Travel. Sass Cam Sportsman. Community Insurance. Uh, 
Thank you, everyone, for tuning in. Sorry about the audio issues. It might not be as crisp as we would like. It definitely isn't as crisp as we would like. My kids got into my broadcast bag, and I have misplaced the valuable piece known as my microphone. Passing it up down the ice. Thompson across the blue line hasn't knocked off. I believe Tyler Thompson is going to be one of our guests during the intermission or on after hours tomorrow. Logman A. Perry's post game. Foster, Logan Foster. We are right above the Rokenville bench for our vantage point. Tomorrow night, I believe I'm going to have a statistician, a nine-year-old statistician, a prodigy. If he still wants to come. The blast from Foyer. It shoots and goes wide. Kept in. Good hockey sack there, but glove ahead. Here come the Cobras slithering in. Great save, Berezowski, and he holds on for a whistle. Nixon Electric. Wendy's Place. St. Lazar Tire. That passes it over Regal has it knocked off his stick. 5.08 to go here in the first period. It feels like the second period. It's been a frustrating first period for this broadcaster. Hope over the blue line. Backhands across. Behind the net. Not much is happening in the way of anything, really. Just trying to talk about what fav what's her favorite sandwich, possibly. I like I like a good old ham and cheese. It can never go wrong with that, except for maybe on the fourth day in a row, maybe the third. Back the other way, Howie, Howie, Ashley Howie sends it across. <laughs> Bumping the doors and falling down. We'll take a quick commercial break. Gateway Co-op. Wanda Heron Photography. Heber's Continuous Metal Roofing. Nixon Electric. Wendy's Place. St. Lazar Tire. Universe Satellite Sale. Sun Dog Travel, Sass Cam Sportsman, Community Insurance. Rokenville is on the power play, the shot from the point. A great save. Thank <laughs> you. 
We'll call our vantage point Media Row. Passes it over, takes a shot. Well, this is, this is the breath box. The person in, beside me that you might see, he's from the local paper here in Kenora. And they do a fantastic job each week. Passes it back. Over, over, Cochran, back, Thompson, passes it over, Hope, send it across, oh, off the crossbar! And the Martians are coming once again! Trying to decide which one's the leader. Howie. Zarazowski leaves it out to retrieve it. Over the blue line, passes it back. Regal over Howie. Passes it off the head to that. Passes it. I believe, I'm not sure what producer Mitch is doing. Um, minute 50 to go here in the first period. Still scoreless. Regal, Regal over the blue line, goes across the red line, dumps it down, stopped and handed it away. Universe Satellite Sail, Sun Dog Travel, SAS Cam Sportsman, Community Insurance. Producer Mitch is fixing the scoreboard so that our friends are. Gateway Co-op and Wanda Heron Photography are pleased with our work. There is a possibility that SEHL President Mike Stackhouse will join us during the first intermission, but I am not 100% certain on that. <laughs> Falling down, Fosters. Down the ice, shots on net are 11 11. Scoreless, evenly matched. Back to the point and takes a shot. Redirected and in. He scores! The Tigers pounce first. It's a 1 0 lead for Rokenville. Redirected, we'll wait for the official call. He's just on the phone right now, but in moments we'll be able to hear from the booming pipes of the Colorado Civic Center.
Broken Mill strikes first in game one of the championship series. Takes a shot, redirected, 10 seconds left in the first period. Five, four, kept in, banked off the boards. Down the ice it goes. 0 0.9 seconds to go here in the first period. My name is Kristen Timmerman and I'm an agronomist at Circle T Agra and I'm the CEO of my own company Inputs Pro. Circle T Agra is our family owned independent retail located in Treehearn, Manitoba. We supply seed, fertilizer, chemical and custom application to growers in our area. Inputs Pro is a mobile app or web platform that allows growers, agronomists and retails to access all of the information from the Crop Protection Guides for Western Canada. I hope that the legacy of Inputs Pro is to be that resource that is not company specific and is there for the grower when they need it. Running a tech company in a rural community is just such an awesome experience for me and the community itself. Seeing small businesses like myself grow into what they are, especially in these small communities, is just a whole nother level of excitement. Sunrise Credit Union is a local cooperative financial institution. They have helped our family for the last 25 years to grow our business into what it is today. Having a supportive lender is important for the growth and scale of our business. In such a volatile industry like agriculture, we need somebody that can accommodate our needs specific to our company. Sunrise Credit Union is such an important part of our community. They're always helping sponsor hockey teams and local events. I would recommend being a member of Sunrise Credit Union because they are there for you as a customer. They're really striving to make your goals become a reality. Welcome back. My guest right now is the president, or what, what would your title be, Mike? Would it yeah, be the, I think, yeah, I think that's, a, that's accurate. Mr. Yeah. President, how are you this evening? It's good. It's good. This is a, it's a good game, and, and uh, you know, before the game, we were talking about how, you know, Kenora, for the most part, you know, the, the, the first round, they, they, they have a little bit of bad blood with Cody. Uh, they're a rival team that the plays, you know, half an hour off the highway from them. They've, they've got bad blood with Theodore, um, you know, just historical. They didn't play Theodore in the playoffs this year. Last year, they played Swan Valley in the first round of the playoffs. They've got some bad blood with Swan Valley, and then, you know, a hotly contested series in a semifinal. There's really no bad blood with Rokenville. Not but, yet, anyway. But there, there will be. There will be. That's just the way Kenora plays. So, uh, it's, uh, you yeah, know, it's been a good first period, that, that, that goal by Rokenville in the final minute. Uh, you know, those sometimes are big goals. Absolutely, they are. Overall, um, how would you rate the health of the league? Uh, it's in its third full season. Yeah, I think we're in we're in really good shape. We've uh, you know the, the, the crowds here in Kenora have been outstanding. The crowds in, in uh, Minnesota, which is where Swan River plays, have been great. Um, you know, Rokenville's always you know very very supportive of their team. Priestville, which got blown out of every game that they played in, got really good crowds, uh, you know, all season long. So I think, I think you know, in, in the in the rural communities, senior hockey is very, very strong. And, uh, you know, hope, hopefully we can, you know, like last year we had, 
you know, there was there was a clear gap, I think, after Rokenville and, and, and Theodore. And this year it was a lot closer. Yeah. You know, the, the, the level of competition, you know, Rokenville and Theodore were very good again, but Kenora had, you know, definitely picked up the pace. Lantenberg was, was a pretty good team. Cody had a good, a pretty good run there. Yeah, for, they did. Part way through the year. And Wapello was, wasn't an easy out. Churchbridge is a good team, but I thought they played very well, you know, for having a new club. And I think that they'll be even better going into next year. So I think as long as, you know, that level of competition between, you know, I think we were a 10 team league this year. If you can get, if you get six strong teams in a 10 team league, then, you know, you're watching a, you know, good game most nights. Is there talk of expanding or is there any team wanting to come in? I haven't, uh, I haven't been approached recently. There's a lot of rumors out there. Um, you know, there's always, you know, there's always talk. Um, in my mind, I think at some point, you know, if you're going to go beyond 10 teams, you, you know, you, you probably should be looking at, you know, separating into either an, another league or yeah. or getting creative within within your own league on, on how you should do things. Managing schedules and everything, yeah. Well, nobody wants to play really more than, say, 16 games, you know, because there's provincials and, 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 and then the playoffs. Like, like Kenora's played three, five, eight. They're, they're on track to play another, you know, 12, 13 games in the playoffs. Yeah. So, so in the regular season, there isn't a lot of appetite to play much more than, you know, I think this year we played 14 games. So there's not a lot of appetite to play more than 16. And I don't blame them for that. But all of a sudden, if you end up with a 12-team league, how do you... How do you play less than that? There's there's ways to maneuver around it, but that's a good problem to have, I'd say. Yeah, I, I you know, when we uh, when we started the league, I think we were at four or five teams, and, yeah. uh, and we're at ten. Um, I think I think ten is a is a good number. There's a couple of communities out there that, you know, in, in my mind, if they if they wanted to enter the league, I'd like to see senior hockey in those communities. Yeah. So we'll see what happens. And it wouldn't, you wouldn't want to turn any team away. And it just is great for the economies in both towns and the league. Yeah, my only concern is, you know, if you accept a team, are you, are you damaging another team? That's true. Right? And so We uh, saw that in the summer. Right, and, and there was some, you know, there was some talk. You know, Esther, Esther Hazy wanted in at the last minute, and and they they weren't accepted in. And a big reason for that is if you look at the players that that were going to play for them, some of them were on the Rokenville team tonight. Some of them were on the Churchbridge team, which we had just accepted. Yeah. You know, not that much longer in advance of getting the application. Esther Hazy. You know, Esther Hazy. To me, as a community, I would love to see senior hockey yeah, there. That would be great. I, I hope they put an application in uh, sooner rather yeah. than later. My my expectation is that they get, they probably they would get accepted. Yeah. So. What about a team like Camsax? They've tried in years past and love the rank. Yeah, they it's have a, really a great nice rank. Yeah, yeah. Really like the, the Broda. Um, you know, again, I think like if Camsax comes in, like like you know, Cody Cody yeah. is thirty minutes up the road from Kenora. Priestville's, uh, what, an hour? No, half an hour. Away yeah, half Kenora, hour. Right? Yeah. So, you know, if, if Camps, I mean, you're, you're talking about a lot of teams close together. It's the same in the South. You've got you've got Churchbridge and Lantenburg, which are really about 15 minutes apart. And yeah. then if Esther Hazy wants in, you've got quite a triangle there. You've got three teams all really fighting over the same players to, in some respect. And as we saw earlier, this Provincials. Right. Grenbury. Yeah. That was a fantastic yeah. crowd. Yeah. And they had fun. It was good to see them, you know. My understanding is they're not interested in a league team, but they want to give it one more kick in the cap. And that's a that's fantastic yeah. as yeah. well. Well, the Zamboni's just finishing up. Is there anything else you want to add, Mike? No, thanks for having me on. Thank you for coming on. Yeah. It's a pleasure meeting you. Yeah, you too, buddy. Yeah. All right. Okay. Have fun with it. Always do. Okay. League President Mike Stackhouse is the first period admission guest. You're watching Good On Industries Game Time on TL Media. Hello, Wolseley. We are here on Saturday, March the 9th. This is Decision Day for Craft Hockeyville, and I'm here with Mayor Gerald Hill. How are things with you? Pretty good. Pretty exciting day? Pretty exciting day. We're hoping that we're going to be successful. Good crowd. You can see there's a big crowd here. There's a lot of people here. Yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, so it just shows that the, the rink gets used. So. so we're coming up on 6 o'clock here. And good luck, Wolseley. Yes, good luck, Wolseley. Hopefully we can, uh, we can pull this off and do Western Canada proud. Absolutely. Yeah. Here they are. Look at that! How about that, eh? Yes. So for those of you who may have missed it, Wolfley's in the running for top four for Craft Hockeyville. The uh, rink board and the whole whole gaggle of uh, volunteers did a lot of work to get us to this point. It's not over yet, though, so we're going to be announcing some of the stuff that we need to do to to uh, to win the whole darn thing, so it's time to bring it to Western Canada. Can't be prouder of our community. Way to go, Wolseley! <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> All right, that's so it's official. Wolseley is in the top four. What do you think of that? How about that? How about that? That's just amazing. That's the best news I've heard all year. <laughs> that's right today, but we're going to win this. We are. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, we're going to bring it to Western Canada. So get out there and vote for us, everybody. Yes, and voting day is, what, the 29th, is I it? I believe so. So we basically have to pretty much spam all of our friends we and do. relatives and everybody between now and then saying, yeah. on the day, make sure you vote. Yeah. So uh, big congratulations to the town of Wolseley and all the folks who uh, who worked to make this happen. Absolutely. And yeah. if it wasn't for them. And the kids out on the ice. Yeah. That's what it's all about. That's right. We got a game here about to start. No, it was a lot of volunteers that brought this to the table and uh, did a, a ton of work and good on them, you know, to, to make this a success. So. We couldn't have done it with our volunteers. They're a, they're an integral part of any community, especially our community. So okay. good on you guys. Good for you, Gilly. All right, excellent. Job. One more cheer for Worldly. <laughs> One more. We cheer. did it. <laughs>
Probably out of his house. Doing the producer stuff. Hops over. Banks it all. Kenora. Not really much happening in the way of around it. Takes a shot. He scores! I'm about to eat my words. Yum, that's delicious. Rokenville is in the lead. 2 nothing. Rogers pinching in. And just like his dad used to do, Dakota finds the back of the net. And you can bet Big Brother John is watching from L.A. John Rogers will be get, will be uh, recorded an interview with John Rogers yesterday. And we'll play that tomorrow during the game two. Great location in the Kenora Civic Auditorium. Dakota Odgers. Odgers from Howie. And Rokenville takes a 2 0 lead. Intercepted. Passes it over. Logan Foster has it knocked off his stick. He played his peewee hockey with the Kansas Flyers. They won the provincial championship that year back in the 2010-2011 season. With the likes of Henry Thomas, Teddy Hoodie, J.J. Fofanov. That was an elite team. It was probably the best peewee hockey team I have ever seen. I think they only lost once, but they made good on that. Sent down the ice. Foster. Foster. Hopefully, Kenora is hoping that Foster is Kenora for goals. As Foster is Australian for beers. Seventeen twenty to go here in the second period. Rokenville has a 2 nothing lead. Shots on net are 14-11 in favor of the Cobras. Because I like, know we have some avid shots on goal and through this. That watch TL Media. Robito passes it over. Here comes. Cochran sends it across. And the horns are back, ladies and gentlemen. So are the sirens. It's we're under attack here in Kenora. Spinning around. Bumped into the boards. Regal, who's a member of the Red vs. Rockets provincial team, will not be playing for the Rockets tomorrow night in Macklin. Instead, he is suiting up for the, for the Tigers in game two. A game you can catch live right here on TL Media from Rokenville. Takes a shot, miss, and hit the outside of the net. The net appears to be off its moorings. Maybe not. I don't believe so. Maybe I'm just seeing things. It is, it is now, that's for sure. You're watching Good On Industries Game Time on TL Media. Universe Satellite Sale, Sun Dog Travel, SAS Cam Sportsman, Community Insurance. Cobras win the draw, they take a shot, that gets a lag and goes wide. I would like to remind people that I do not control any of the music. Nobody does. Well, 
Nobody does in this arena. So before Facebook gets all upset, we don't control. We don't control the music that gets played, and we certainly don't own it. Down the ice it goes. Fuller just watches it go. We would like to say a special hello out to all the Brokenville fans and Kenora fans that are watching. Specifically, the owner of St. Lazar Tire for always supporting TL Media. Along with uh, all of our sponsors. Thompson. Thompson takes a shot. Community Insurance Incorporated in Kenora, Saskatchewan. Serving Kenora and District for over 35 years, providing general insurance. Located at 101 Main Street, Kenora, Saskatchewan. Call 306-563-5651. Thanks, John. Big rebound. No, he holds on for the Former Boys of Aim Border King Eli Halcrow, number eight for Rockenville, is not playing this evening. Two nothing is the score in favor of the Rockenville Tigers. Down the ice it goes, 14:05, and we'll take a quick break. Universe Satellite Sail, Sun Dog Travel, Sas Cam Sportsman. Community Insurance. Welcome back to Good On Industries Game Time on TLB. It is still 2 nothing in favor of the Rokenville Tigers. That gets it back to the point. Takes a shot. Gets in the slot. It's loose the back end. And the net comes off. Passes it over. Sends it over. Down the ice. Has a stick lifted and Rokenville comes away with it. Gets it back. Takes passes it over. Can't really see much what's going on. So we're just going to assume that they're playing hard behind the net. Coming away with it. Bump. Gets it in front of the back end. He scores! 3 0 is the score. 13 05 to go here in the second period. And it's a rocky start for the Kenora Cobras. Co-op, Wanda Heron Photography, Heber's Continuous Metal Roofing, Universe Satellite Sail, Sun Dog Travel, Sas Cam Sportsman,
Community Insurance. Regal from Cochran makes it three nothing. Shots on that are sixteen to fifteen in favor of the Cobras. Over. Regal. The, the latest goal star sends it across. Down low. Knocked aside. Rounds the net. Takes a shot. Big rebound. Down the ice it goes. It's a back. Hope shoots. Big rebound. We hope you're enjoying this broadcast wherever you're tuning in from. Let us know in the comments where you're watching from, and we'll give you a shout out during the broadcast. Audrey sends it down the ice. Knocked down. Turned over with the shot. Big, big miss. Audrey's behind the net. The always dangerous Audrey's. I get the sense that the Preachville senior pass are a lot like the Saskatchewan Rough Riders. Rarely the best team, but always the best fans. Gets it back. Pulliard sends it over. Falling down just like London Bridge. Takes a shot, hits a leg. Foster moves it over. Logan Foster. We would love to come up to Priestville next season to do a game. We want to we want to go wherever there's good senior hockey. How he comes in, goes around the net. That's how he does. Game three in this series will be March 29th, but more importantly, game two is tomorrow night in Brokenville. You can catch that one live right here on TL Media. Good on Industries Game Time. We've got to get Ed Dick back on the show. He's got to hype up some good on Industries. we got to hear what's going on there. Passes it over Regal. We have a delayed penalty. Gateway Co-op, Wanda Heron Photography, Heber's Continuous Metal Roofing. Nixon Electric, Wendy's Place, St. Lazar Tire. The draw, they get it back. Hope passes it over. 
comes him back to Hope, and a big save there. So, Gravy. Ralph Gabers in the box. Broken Bill is on the power play. Thompson. Mr. Thompson. Gravy. Gravy. Back. Swing and a miss. But. That was the right idea. Across the blue line at the rich at the Kenora Railway Station. Behind the net. Driving hard. Passes it over. Looking like a locomotive. Hope. Sends it across. Back to Reedy. And he scores! Wow, what a shot! That was a laser! The laser! Hope! There was no hope of the Kenora Netminder stopping that one. Community Insurance Incorporated in Kenora, Saskatchewan. Serving Kenora and District for over 35 years, providing general insurance. Located at 101 Main Street, Kenora, Saskatchewan. Call 306-563-5651. Four nothing is the score now for the Rokenville Tigers. They just went up four nothing. They're looking to pounce to an early lead. But the Cobras fell behind early to Swan Valley in their last series. You can't count the snakes out. They might take a whacking today. But remember, Barry White came and saved the snakes in that one episode of The Simpsons. Maybe Kanara will have a Barry White. I'm sure producer Mitch remembers that episode. Cochran. Passes it over, bank off the boards. Down the ice. Universe Satellite Sale, Sun Dog Travel, Sass Cam Sportsman, Community Insurance. Oh, off an, off an ankle. That dreaded shot off the ankle. Six forty-five to go here in the second period. They're watching Good On Industries Game Time on TL Media. Dobby's Contracting. Davidson Truck and Tractor. Longman Aviaries. Streaming services for TL Media are provided by Voice of Aim Plumbing and Heating. Good on industry. Sunrise Credit Union. Zaley Furniture. Springer Construction. Well said, Reed. It is a war of attrition. It's about who's in the best shape. 
who can survive a five, best of five series. Here's Fink. First thing sends it over. Hope is in the box for interference. 6.18 to go here. Kenora desperately trying to get one on this man advantage. We hope you guys enjoyed last night's broadcast between the Mooseman Rangers and Redverse Rockets. It was an overtime thriller. Winner was scored by Drew Schiller. Schiller ends the thriller. This one, not so much yet, but all the firepower Kenora has. The blast from the point. Rogers knows what it takes to sacrifice. Looking forward to chatting with them tomorrow evening as part of our broadcast tomorrow. You don't want to miss it. We have a lot of interviews for tomorrow. I talked to Vance Weber from Wolseley is Hockeyville, and we'll play that during our second intermission tomorrow. Coming up during our second intermission right now, or in four minutes, 35 seconds, I will, I'm supposed to be chatting with Cal Haramik. I'm sorry if I mispronounced his last name, but he's one of the managers for the Canara Cobras. And he's very responsive to all the questions that I ask him on social media. Pass it up, off of Regal, just watches it go. Moves it over. Three fifty seven to go here in the second period. And at, at this time, we're gonna take a break. Universe Satellite Sail, Sun Dog Travel. SAS Cam Sportsman, Community Insurance. That goes wide. Moves it over Regal. Here's Pink. Sends it down the ice. You know. It's 4 nothing for the visitors. The, the home fans could have easily went home with their tails between their legs. But look at this crowd. Spectacular. They're real, by the way, and they're spectacular. The Kenora Cobras and, and Cobra Nation. Gateway Co-op. Wanda Heron Photography. Heber's Continuous Metal Roofing. We hope you're enjoying this broadcast. It's four nothing for the Rokenville Tigers. Passes it across. Sent down the ice. No icing is the call. Good call, Mr. Lineslin. Circling around. Oh, 
2.18 to go here in the second period. Across, knocks it off his stick. Logan Foster sends it across. Minute 58, second period. Roberts, 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 holds it. Down the ice, oh, that one's a solid connection. Off of foot, off of Hope's foot. Tomorrow, the Red vs. Rockets will be hopeless as uh, he can't make it for Red vs. He's playing with Oakendale. There's a back on. Big say Berezowski. Well, that could be a great nickname for him. Dubas. Down the ice. Over. Breakaway. Shoots. Oh, he missed the net. Back. And that's out of reach. One minute to go. The Kenora Cobras. They, I'm going to give, a, they have the best public address announcer that's been on PL Media this year. All due respect to everyone else. He's loud, he's clear, he enunciates his words, and he, you don't have to strain your ears. What did he say? It's Gateway Co-op. Wanda Heron Photography. Heber's Continuous Metal Roofing. Shots on net for those wondering at home. Our 2020. And right now it's feeling like 2020 for the Cobras. It feels like they're six feet apart from the Rokenville Tigers on the scoreboard. Four nothing is the score. A high stick. Is he bleeding? The ref is not seeing. 30 seconds. Two on one back the other way. The Cobras are trying to slither their way back into this one. I think we could get away with Trooper. He's CanCon. And he's probably in the building. Trooper is everywhere. I'm sure everyone in Saskatchewan has seen Trooper at some point. And if you haven't, why not? That's the end of the second period. Go, you know what to do. Go take your dog for a walk. Refill your beverage. Say hi to your wife. Well, make sure you come back for period number three. You're watching Good On Industries Game Time on TL Media. Streaming services for TL Media are provided by Boyce of Ain Plumbing and Heating. The Egg Lender program is an expedited process that gives you first-hand experience as well as theoretical learning to give you the tools needed to be a successful Egg Lender. The Egg Lender program with Sunrise is a two-year program that runs you through four stages. The MSR, the front line, the loans clerking, consumer lending, and then finally it gets you to being an Egg Lender. The Egg Lender program is a program that is built to take you from knowing nothing in the banking industry right up to being able to be an Egg Lender. It's a lot of hands-on training and a lot of learning as you're going. I've been doing this for 18 months now and have learned everything from start to finish. I'm proud of the work that I do as an egg lender with Sunrise Credit Union because of how community-minded Sunrise is and how it supports local farmers. Farmers are the backbone of Canada, so I'm very proud to be part of the industry and being able to support them. 
The right person for the egg lending program is somebody who's looking to stay local, wanting to grow their career and help out their community. If you're considering becoming an egg lender, I would 10 out of 10 recommend it. It's a great industry to work in and it's great people to work with every day. We've talked for a few years with uh, the... That's right. Did you get Mike already here? Is that going? Yeah. The president? Yeah. And who, do you have anybody lined up for after the game or not really? I think I have Darren. Oh, Darren's working. Yeah. I don't know if he'll remember, but with the game going. I'll go put a bug in for him. Okay. I don't think he's too happy right now. No. Well, I hope you guys are happy right now. Um, my guest right now is Cal... How do you pronounce your name? Cal... Cal Hominick of the Kenora Cobras. Cal, not the start you guys wanted, but what do you have to say positives about the evening well, so far? Well, like I said, it's uh, so different than we played Swan River. We lost 6-2 that first game, and I think the guys, you know, it's the first time they've been in position because um, we lost, last year we lost in the quarterfinals, and, and it's a learning process, and uh, the guys have to come together, and, and you know, there's no mistakes. You guys nailed the belly box, and then Right, up and chase and put the ball and hopefully we get a couple quick ones and we'll make a game of it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, hopefully, hoping to see that. Um. Overall, you have to be very pleased with how the season went. And what was the difference between this year's team and last year's team? Uh, basically, from last year, you know what? Uh, we were competitive, and uh, this year we picked up, you know, a few guys: McCoskey, Foster, and Kerspe. And uh, you know they're great for the dressing room, lots of character, and everybody kind of fell in the team plan with Darren Schwartz, our head coach, and you know a lot of local guys, so lots of friends, family, and and uh, just having fans coming out to watch. Like I said, all season we've been drawing great. I think we're going to draw probably the best of the whole. And it's so great, and it's uh, great. Let's put it down. Yeah, absolutely it is. I used to live in Camsack in the 2010-2020. 11 season, I got to know one of the people, Kevin Kitchen, quite well. Yes. He always hyped up the uh, Kenora. Yeah. Kenora. Well, you guys weren't the Cobras at no, that time. No, we were time. back then the Renegades, that's right. But now they are well, Let's talk a brief history about the Kenora Senior Hawk. You guys, did, or even, how long have the Cobras been back? Uh, this is like the... the the very first year COVID again. We only played like two games. I think that was back in 2021. And uh, we just got nice and started. And uh, we got shut down. And uh, we had a competitive team, but we never had a chance to show it. We had a lot of local talent, a lot of local boys in the whole area. And um, so we had to regroup. And then another year went by. And, and it was four years in the process. And finally, we got to the point that, uh, you know what, we can compete with everybody any night. And, and uh, like I said, it's great for uh, a learning curve, and we're happy to be here in the final, and uh, we'll do our best. What have been some of the major highlights for your club this season? Oh, basically, we, all, we went 13-1. Uh, uh, we lost one game, that was Swan Valley. Uh, then, waiting to rely on character in our semifinal against Swan Valley, we're down two games to nothing. And we had four games, or three games going to overtime, and we won the next three. And um, that was a big highlight for us, no doubt about it. Good character, Joe. So, so far this season, the only team to beat you in the SEHL has been Swan Valley. That's correct, Swan Valley, yeah. We beat Rokenville here back in early January, 6-2. I know it doesn't say much, they probably never had the full team, and we never did either. But, like I said, on any given night, I think anybody could beat anybody in this league, and it is getting stronger. Absolutely, it is. What's... What's impressed you most about the league overall this year? I think just the competitiveness and the level of uh, I'm sure there's a couple of bottom teams that are struggling, but you know they'll come around for next year. They'll pick up a few more players. But uh, closest to the league for next year, I think it's going to be a lot closer and be more competitive. And you never know, there might be a couple of new teams in the league next year. We're not sure about that, but we'll see. Some Have you heard any rumors? Uh, well, last year we had uh, I think Chapway applied in S3. But you never know what happens for this year. There might be some other teams you never know. Yeah. Those well, with the success of Round Lake and the Provincials, yeah. Yeah. that might bode well for them getting yeah. into a That's right. And you know, it's exciting next year. Cody got a brand new ring. So that'll be tough playing. And like I said, every other team could be competitive at United. 
What's going on with Ituna? I noticed that a lot of their games were moved. With Ituna, a lot of their games were moved out of Ituna. Yeah, just because they're ranked, they're still doing their uh, prefabrication or renovation. Uh, they'll be a full swing this year. They'll play all their ranks. Uh, Very any uh, ice situations that they do have natural ice. Okay. And same with Wapella. Those are the only two teams yeah. in the league that have natural ice. Yeah, Wapella there. I'm, I'm a Moose one guy, so yeah. I know all about all Wapella. About yeah, and yeah. I wanted to do a very passionate fans, and I wanted to get there this year. I'm happy I made it to Kenora this year. And, and like I said, our season is a 14-game schedule. Uh, enough games. Guys are happy. Uh, it's a commitment, but it's not like, uh, you know, two weekends a game sort of thing, so it's proud. And that's what I think traps a lot of good players for these guys. It's not, it's not overly, you know, you know, 18 games schedule, 20 games schedule. You throw provincials there. Sometimes you're playing three, four times a week. So, yeah. Uh, so, it's a good schedule. It's a good league. Uh, Mike Stackhouse is the president, doing a great job. And um, I think the league is uh, looking for upper, upper and better things. Absolutely. Anything else you want to add? No, I uh, just, um, yeah, it's going to be a great series. Uh, it's best of five. Like I said, uh, we're going to come out wide, get ready for tomorrow, and we'll see what, what happens. We'll put on the ice and see what happens. All right. Thank you very thank much you. for your time, Kyle. Just, yep, for sure. Kyle Hominick of the Kenora Cobras, the head co- well, the manager of the Kenora Cobras. We'll be back after a word from our sponsor. You're watching Good On Industries Game Time on TL Media. The score is 4 nothing, Dave. The Egg Lender program is an expediated process that gives you first-hand experience as well as theoretical learning to give you the tools needed to be a successful egg lender. The Egg Lender program with Sunrise is a uh, My name is Kristen Timmerman and I'm an agronomist at Circle T Agra and I'm the CEO of my own company Inputs Pro. Circle T Agra is our family owned independent retail located in Treehearn, Manitoba. We supply seed, fertilizer, chemical and custom application to growers in our area. Inputs Pro is a mobile app or web platform that allows growers, agronomists and retails to access all of the information from the crop protection guides for Western Canada. I hope that the legacy of Inputs Pro is to be that resource that is not company specific and is there for the grower when they need it. Running a tech company in a rural community is just such an awesome experience for me and the community itself. Seeing small businesses like myself grow into what they are, especially in these small communities, is just a whole nother level of excitement. Sunrise Credit Union is a local cooperative financial institution. They have helped our family for the last 25 years to grow our business into what it is today. Having a supportive lender is important for the growth and scale of our business. In such a volatile industry like agriculture, we need somebody that can accommodate our needs specific to our company. Sunrise Credit Union is such an important part of our community. They're always helping sponsor hockey teams and local events. I would recommend being a member of Sunrise Credit Union because they are there for you as a customer. They're really striving to make your goals become a reality. He just wanted to say, hey ladies, I'm single, check out my package. Laura will take a break. The Egg Lender program is an expediated process that gives you first-hand experience as well as theoretical learning to give you the tools needed to be a successful Egg Lender. The Egg Lender program with Sunrise is a two-year program that runs you through four stages. The MSR, the frontline, the loans clerking, consumer lending, and then finally it gets you to being an Egg Lender. 
The Egg Lender Program is a program that is built to take you from knowing nothing in the banking industry right up to being able to be an egg lender. It's a lot of hands-on training and a lot of learning as you're going. I've been doing this for 18 months now and have learned everything from start to finish. I'm proud of the work that I do as an egg lender with Sunrise Credit Union because of how community-minded Sunrise is and how it supports local farmers. Farmers are the backbone of Canada, so I'm very proud to be part of the industry and being able to support them. The right person for the egg lending program is somebody who's looking to stay local, wanting to grow their career and help out their community. If you're considering becoming an egg lender, I would 10 out of 10 recommend it. It's a great industry to work in and it's great people to work with every day. Gateway Co-op, serving you in Buchanan, Kenora, Priestville and Sturgis. Visit one of our convenient locations for all your fuel, liquor, food and home building needs. Gateway Co-op now carries a full line of major appliances at our Priestville Home Center. Proud supporters of the Kenora Cobra Senior Hockey Club. Gateway Co-op, you're at home here. Community Insurance Incorporated in Kenora, Saskatchewan. Serving Kenora and District for over 35 years, providing general insurance. Located at 101 Main Street, Kenora, Saskatchewan. Call 306-563-5651. Welcome back, period number three. Good on Industries Game Time on TL Media. Four nothing for the Rokenville Tigers. But here come the Cobras looking to slither their way back into action and try to get back into this one. Shots on net right now are 21 to 20 in favor of the Cobras as they're battling along. Rocky Newfield's to my right. He's doing a great job for the Kenora paper. He's a proud, pr he's from Boys of Ain as well. I live in Boys of Ain, Rocky's from Boys of Ain. Rocky wanted to say a special shout out to everyone back in Turtle Town. Down the ice it goes, moves it over. Back down to on to Zayola. Has it knocked off his stick. 18.50 to go here in the third period. 4-0 is the score in favor of the Rokenville Tigers. Producer Mitch is trying to get the scoreboard up and ready to go. And they're trying to sell the 50-50. 50-50. No, they're, I think they're going to announce the winner. And that shot goes wide. I have the unfortunateness, I will not win it. Gateway Co-op. Nixon. Break. Nixon Electric. Wendy's Place. St. Lazar Tire. <laughs> And you can catch it live right here on TL Media. There will be a plethora of Cobra there tomorrow night. They're taking a bus. People will even bring their toys with them. They're going to need to put on the foil to knock off the Tigers. At the arena in Rokenville. Back the shot. It's Saturday night. Game two. Can the Cobras slither their way back into the series? Or will the Tigers pounce and take? 
with your host. Takes a shot that goes wide. 17 20 to go, third period. And Clay does not enjoy turnovers. You know what he gets at the bakery? Probably some apple fritters or something. Clay, if you're still in the building, let's uh let's have a little visit after the game, buddy. It's been too long. Bumped into the boards. Sent over. Behind the net. Capped in. With the shot. Kicked aside by Berezowski. Berezowski. Sixteen twenty-five to go, third period. Moved up Ryan Regal. No relation to William Regal from the WWE. I don't think. Rock. Regal and Rock are out there. Maybe. Moves it over. Regal. Bumped into. There's no one but Smirch is Regal. Not even Tajiri. Takes a shot. That goes high and wide. Howie. Over to Hope. There's Hope. Not all hope is lost. Down the ice. You're watching good on Industries Game Time on TLG. Gateway Co-op. Wanda Heron Photography. Heber's Continuous Metal Roofing. 15.36 to go here. Third period. 4 nothing's the score in favor of the Rokenville Tigers. Passes it over. A backhand across. D bangs it off the boards. Thompson. Mr. Thompson. Bumps in. Thompson, I believe he will be one of our guests on the Longman Perry's Post Game Show tomorrow night, along with legendary NHLer Jeff Rogers. I will have a very special guest with me tomorrow as well. If he if he still wants to come, if he's being good for Grandma tonight. I would like to thank my mom for watching my boys tonight. As Shannon is working most of this weekend. Over. Cochran, down. 1425. Foster, Foster, but sends it over. Lost. Moves it up ahead. And during the. We will have a pre game show tomorrow, tomorrow night. I will be talking to Ashley Howie of the Rokenville Tigers. Long time Tiger. We'll talk about the good of the Tiger and the bad of the Tiger. But they have been good for at least the last couple decades. At least the last 20 years, Rokenville has been a powerhouse. That passes over. Great save! And he takes a face loss. Um, Oh, jumping businesses! It's a brouhaha! The intensity has been turned up to 11! WWE smacked out ended 33 minutes ago, approximately. But, it's now on ice! Gateway Co-op, 
serving you in Buchanan, Kenora, Priestville, and Sturgis. Visit one of our convenient locations for all your fuel, liquor, food, and home building needs. Gateway Co-op now carries a full line of major appliances at our Priestville Home Center. Proud supporters of the Kenora Cobra Senior Hockey Club. Gateway Co-op. You're at home here. Gateway Co-op. Wanda Heron Photography. Heber's Continuous Metal Roofing. Nixon Electric. Wendy's Place. St. Lazar Tire. Universe Satellite Sail, Sun Dog Travel, Sass Cam Sportsman, Community Insurance, Community. Community Insurance Incorporated in Kenora, Saskatchewan. Serving Kenora and District for over 35 years, providing general insurance. Located at 101 Main Street, Kenora, Saskatchewan. Call Cope gets it out of the point and passes it over. Back. And back to the point. He takes a shot. A big save. First one around at the point. Gets it back. Far end. Sends it in front. Takes a shot. He scores! 5-0. It's a good thing this is not soccer. It will be 10-0 on aggregate. The Tigers are sending a message here this evening. Nixon Electric. Wendy's Place. St. Lazar Tire. Our next broadcast will be the next game in this series. Tomorrow night, the Rokenville Tigers look to, well, the TL Media Decision Desk is going to declare this one in favor of the Rokenville Tigers. And watch out. It's message sending season for the Cobras. Because the Tigers. Nixon Electric, Wendy's Place, St. Lazar Tire. Sorry. And it goes down the ice. Definitions in the penalty box. Number nine, Jake Pierce, two minutes for a hot sticking. Local Bell Bell number nine, Austin Powell. Two minutes to the record. Number 20, the penalty is 13 Where the goal scored by number two, Stephen Brewer. Assisted by number 20, Dakota Hodgins, and number 10. Sorry, guys. Sorry, ladies and gentlemen. My tripod got tilted. Uh, 
Battle along the far board. And I think I, they're talking. They're thinking about it. Falling down. Takes a shot to Cobra is off a of foot. Five nothing to score with 11 minutes to go. Brokenville's going to the penalty kill. And 58 to go, set, third period. Pass it, takes a shot, puts it on that, big rebound. Turns over, Howie sends it down. Here's Pink. Hope is in the penalty box for two minutes. Cobras. Coffee. And watch out. Well, 50-50, it should be a good one here tonight. We got a good one for you today. Back at the point, send across the shot. He scores! The Cobra scores! Five one now. Nine thirty to go. The Cobras looking to slither their way back into it. There will not be a shutout. No shutout for you. Come on, Rocco. Score by number 21. 22. A shot from the point. Looks like the Cobras showing some signs of life here. Back the other way, going over. Passes it across. Banks it off the boards, down. Good play there, good defensive play. Sent down the ice with 8.30 to go here in the third period. Sends it across, moves it. Collier sends it up, Regal. Ryan Regal across the blue line, takes a shot to that. Around the net, he scores! Six to one is the score now. Gateway Co-op, serving you in Buchanan, Kenora, Priestville, and Sturgis.
Visit one of our convenient locations for all your fuel, liquor, food, and home building needs. Gateway Co-op now carries a full line of major appliances at our Priestville Home Center. Proud supporters of the Kenora Cobra Senior Hockey Club. Gateway Co-op. You're at home here. 6-1 is the score now in favor of the Rokenville Tigers. 8.05 to go. Regal from Robodo really made it 6 1 for the Tigers. Down the ice, that one will go for icing. Nixon Electric. Wendy's Place. St. Lazar Tire. 50 50 number is. A green ticket, seven, zero, one, three, three, four. Seven, seven, zero, one, three, three, four. The winner of the, of the 50 50 is buying the first round after the game. Gateway Co op. Wanda Heron Photography. Heber's Continuous Metal Roofing. Six one is the score. Oh. The Tigers have a thorn in their power with that. Nixon Electric. Wendy's Place. St. Lazar Tire. Rogers, Dakota Rogers, one of the goal scorers, gets it back, moves it down low, behind the net it goes, passes it across, feeds it over, Cochran, Cochran, Cochran in the corner, has a stick with him, passes it over, sends it across, redirected, and a fantastic save, seven minutes to go, you're watching, get on in. Gateway Co-op Wanda Heron Photography Heber's Continuous Metal Roofing I think we recovered quite nicely from our technical difficulties at the start of the game. I was anticipating being here for 7 o'clock. I didn't end up getting here until about 7.45 because I had to walk about three blocks due to the fantastic crowd here this evening. And I know, I know, I should have been here early. I should have been more prepared. But thank you everyone for tuning in and sticking with us. You're gravy. You're doing great, doing buddy. You are doing great as well, Producer Mitch. Did you see you even got a shout out, bud? In less than 24 hours. Six one is the score. And I would not be surprised to see the physicality be turned up by the Cobras to send a message for tomorrow night. Back come the Cobras. Well, I thought we were at a Denny's for a second, but not a hockey game.
turned over. Zayola. No, not no, not Travis Longman, unfortunately. You have to buy a ticket in order to get one. And I've been I've been busy. Coming up during the third during the postgame show, I'm gonna talk to Darren Schwartz. Darren's the coach of the Kenora Cobras. And we'll talk about the game tonight, what has to happen tomorrow, how how they're gonna shake up, if, if they're gonna make any big changes tomorrow. I asked uh, the general manager, maybe we'll see the return of the Mac number for Kenora tomorrow, but was not committed. Four twenty to go in the third period. It could be the last dance with Mary Jane. One more time to kill the Bays. Nixon Electric. Wendy's Place. St. Lazar Tire. Uh, I'm glad I'm not a little fatter than I am right now. The uh, booth or walkway I'm standing on, if I was a little bigger, I would not fit. I'm hitting my head on beans sometimes if you hear a rattle. A little bit of a skirmish passes up. 3.35 to go, third period. There's not much tension here, just a lot of frustration. Takes a shot, he scores! The Rock, he attacks him. Rock attacks the Tiger like the Rock attacks Cody Rhodes. Six to two now. That's sending a message. Terzowski, not happy with himself after that one. Six to two for the Rokenville Tigers. The Cobras lost the first game of last round by the same 6-2 score. Shots on net, 25-24 for the Cobras. Kicked us on there. Three oh six to go here. Third period. Six two is the score in favor of the Rokenville Tigers. Brock comes back out. Rock has it. Says it takes a shot. Foster. Rock. Oh, Hammer crunched into the boards. Right at the numbers. That's at least two minutes. He had his back turn hit at the numbers. I'm surprised there wasn't any fisticuffs after that. Very lucky. Very grateful that they got up. Universe Satellite Sale, Sun Dog Travel, 
Sascam Sportsman, Community Insurance. It is just a two minute minor. Two half. To that captain. Number one takes a shot. Big rebound. Holding on to it. Hacking at him. And Berezelski's down. He is down. He got that up in the collarbone, I think. Oh, sorry. It's play up. Upper body. He got it in the upper body. That's a... He's, he's rattled. He's shaken up. Shaken, but not stirred. Robito went over and checked on him. He's making sure he's okay. Cobra's on the top line to bank it off the board for now. Fourteen could have been a hit from behind. Passes it across. Moves it over. Here's Pink. And down, down, down. But the flames went higher. This one will burn, burn, burn for the Cobras. Takes a shot. Big rerun down the ice and just a bit outside. And tomorrow night we'll see if the toothless aggression. He scores! A little bit of toothless aggression for the Cobras. A minute 21 to go. Six to three. Sending a message for tomorrow night. Seven o'clock puck drop. Live in Rokenville and live on TL Media. Oh, to that. You know, I'm not sure I agree with the Kenora Cobra's goal song where when they score. Say la vie. Wouldn't that be a good song when it's going on? Number 24, Scott One minute to go. Moves it down the ice. 50 seconds to go here in the game. Down the ice. Game two should be a doozy tomorrow night in Rokenville. The Tigers will have a one nothing series lead, but the Cobras, they're looking to get some teeth. And ready to, both, both the Cobras pass it to bats. And the, this is it. Wide left, wide left. Just like the Dallas Cowboys usually in the playoffs. Nine, eight, seven, six, sends it across, chop. One, and we will see you tomorrow night from Rokenville. A little hope with the shove. A few words exchanged. Like, where can I get a bottle of blue before I leave town? Final shots on goal, the Kenora Cobras, 29 for Kenora, Broken Bell, 24. The Cobras lose 6-3, but they look to even up this series. Tomorrow night in Rokenville, we're going to take a commercial, commercial breaks right now and then be back with the Longman A. Perry's postgame show. You're watching Good On Industries Game Time on TL Media. Community Insurance Incorporated in Kenora, Saskatchewan. Serving Kenora and District for over 35 years, providing general insurance, 
located at 101 Main Street, Kenora, Saskatchewan. Call 306-563-5651. Gateway Co-op, serving you. Gateway Co-op, serving you in Buchanan, Kenora, Priestville, and Sturgis. Visit one of our convenient locations for all your fuel, liquor, food, and home building needs. Gateway Co-op now carries a full line of major appliances at our Priestville Home Center. Proud supporters of the Kenora Cobra Senior Hockey Club. Gateway Co-op, you're at home here. Live from the Mike Swain Arena, it's Thursday night. The Redvers take on the Rockets. Game two of the Big Six Hockey League Championship Series. Mooseman leads 1-0. Can the Rangers take a stranglehold? Or will the Rockets blast off and tie the series? Hello, Wolseley. We are here on Saturday, March the 9th. This is... Hello, Wolves. Gateway Cola. Serving you in Buchanan, Kenora, Priestville, and Sturgis. Visit one of our convenient locations for all your fuel, liquor, food, and home building needs. Gateway Co-op now carries a full line of major appliances at our Priestville Home Center. Proud supporters of the Kenora Cobra Senior Hockey Club. Gateway Co-op, you're at home. Community Insurance Incorporated. Hello, Wolseley. We are here on Saturday, March the 9th. This is Decision Day for Craft Hockeyville, and I'm here with Mayor Gerald Hill. How are things with you? Pretty good. Pretty exciting day? Pretty exciting day. We're hoping that we're going to be successful. Good crowd. You can see there's a big crowd here. There's a lot of people here. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so it just shows that the, the ring gets used, so... So we're coming up on six o'clock here and good luck Wolseley. Yes, good luck Wolseley. Hopefully we can, uh, we can pull this off and do Western Canada proud. Absolutely. Yeah. Here they are. Jerry, we did it! Way to go Wolseley! Look at that! How about that, eh? So for those of you who may have missed it, Wolseley's in the running for top four for Craft Hockeyville. The uh, rink board and the whole whole gaggle of uh, volunteers did a lot of work to get us to this point. It's not over yet, though, so we're going to be announcing some of the stuff that we need to do to to uh, to win the whole darn thing. So it's time to bring it to Western Canada. Can't be prouder of our community. Way to go, Wolseley. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> All right, that's so it's official. Wolseley is in the top four. What do you think of that? How about that? How about that? That's just amazing. That's the best news I've heard all year. <laughs> that's right, today. But we're going to win this. We are. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, we're going to bring it to Western Canada. So. Get out there and vote for us, everybody. Yes, and voting day is, what, the 29th, is I it? I believe so. So we basically have to pretty much spam all of our friends we and do. relatives and everybody between now and then saying, yeah. on the day, make sure you vote. Yeah. So uh, big congratulations to the town of Wolseley and all the folks who uh, who worked to make this happen. Absolutely. And... Yeah. So it wasn't for them. And the kids out on the ice. Yeah. That's what it's all about. That's right. We got a game here about to start. No, it was uh, a lot of volunteers that brought this to the table and uh, did a, a ton of work and good on them, you know, to, to make this a success. So we couldn't have done it with our volunteers. They're, a, they're an integral part of any community, especially our community. So okay. good on you guys. Good for you. All right. Excellent. One more cheer for Worldly. One more we cheer. We did it.
Welcome back to the Longman Napier's post game show. We're going to wait a few minutes more for Darren Schwartz, head coach of the head coach of the Kenora Cobras. And let's recap how the game went. Um, it was all Rokenville for most of it. The Cobras woke up in the third period. We're going to run a few more commercials and then we'll be back with hopefully Darren. If not, we're going to sign off. Producer Mitch, let's hit the commercial break, buddy. Gateway Co-op. Wanda Heron Photography. Heber's Continuous Metal Roofing. Nixon Electric. Wendy's Place. St. Lazar Tire. Universe Satellite Sail. Sun Dog Travel. Sass Cam Sportsman Community Insurance Community Insurance Incorporated in Kenora, Saskatchewan Serving Kenora and District for over 35 years Providing general insurance Located at 101 Main Street, Kenora, Saskatchewan Call 306-563-5651 We have sent the music man to go and get Darren. Hopefully he is on his way. We hope everyone enjoyed this game tonight. And um, we'll be back after a few words from our sponsor. Let's let's play along one producer match. You're the producer. You take care of it. I'm just the broadcaster, the play-by-play, -play, the sales guy, one of the producers. The owner, the operator, the found. My name is Kristen Timmerman, and I'm an agronomist at Circle T Agra, and I am the CEO of my own company, Inputs Pro. Circle T Agra is our family owned independent retail located in Treehearn, Manitoba. We supply seed, fertilizer, chemical, and custom application to growers in our area. Inputs Pro is a mobile app or web platform that allows growers, agronomists and retails to access all of the information from the crop protection guides for Western Canada. I hope that the legacy of Inputs Pro is to be that resource that is not company specific and is there for the grower when they need it. Running a tech company in a rural community is just such an awesome experience for me and the community itself. Seeing small businesses like myself grow into what they are, especially in these small communities, is just a whole nother level of excitement. Sunrise Credit Union is a local cooperative financial institution. They have helped our family for the last 25 years to grow our business into what it is today. Having a supportive lender is important for the growth and scale of our business. In such a volatile industry like agriculture, we need somebody that can accommodate our needs specific to our company. Sunrise Credit Union is such an important part of our community. They're always helping sponsor hockey teams and local events. I would recommend being a member of Sunrise Credit Union because they are there for you as a customer. They're really striving to make your goals become a reality. It would appear that uh, Darren Schwartz will not be showing up here tonight. Um, thank you everyone for tuning in. And we'll see you tomorrow night. Live from Rokenville. Game time starts at 7 o'clock. Good night everybody. Thank you.